Hey guys, what's up? So recently, Sonic Faction decided to give their Wooch machine for free. So go and download it. I added the links in the descriptions down below. So I decided to download Wooch machine and you know show you how it works and the insights of Wooch machine in a review. And uh, basically, what Wooch machine is is actually a riser and downriser player that works on contact. So you have to need the latest contact player to actually work run it in your DAW. So Woosh Machine is a riser, down riser that creates all this white noise and pink noise that you use with electronic dance music or just really any electronic music. All right. So I'm going to go to Cubase and show you how it works. Now, I have to load up your Contact 5 player and you look under Files for the Woosh Machine and basically you find the NKI there, drop it there and Woosh Machine is loaded. So basically this is simple. And what I really like about it is it has also presets on the right here. So you can actually look and see how it uh, it should sound. So there's atmospheres, downers, drones, FX, rhythmic risers and all that. Let's just try clicking on a note. All right, so straight out of the box, it sounds nice and it's free. So go <laughs> download it, yeah? So what I really like about it is uh, it gives you a lot of different sounds you can play around with and see what is actually capable of doing it, right? So if you go to initial here, it resets it to the you know normal white noise we are so used to hear in electronic dance music. So what's really cool about it is you can actually change the RAM, meaning that you know how fast it actually rises up. So if you want to change it to about six bars or eight bars, let's try eight bars. It's going to take a longer time to actually you know reach the peak for the filters to come in actually. So you can you can actually change the risers without actually having to do it manually anymore, right? Um, you can also use up the palm, which is basically a side chain effect. There we go. The side chain effect, and that's pretty cool. So other than that, you can always change your, you know frequencies, uh, resonance, and then you can morph it around to give you different sounds, filters, and also envelopes and LFOs to add different kind of effects to the Whoosh machine, right? Now, what's really nice about this is if you, go, if you go to the source right here, you can see that we have different noise here. So instead of white noise, you can have like pink noise. Yeah, right? let's try one of those. Gonna put down the RAM very fast so we hear the noise immediately. All right? Noise three. Different sound again. Noise four. So you can really find a lot of noise right here, and you know, play around with different noises here that you actually prefer. Now, if you look at this scene here, it's actually adding a scene. So if I Turn on the scene button, which you add a scene together with the noise. So if I put up a bit of a ram, you can hear the scene coming up slowly as it ramps up. Right, can you see that? Right, so pretty interesting. So if you use different scenes, give you different sounds again. Right, so scenes actually adds a lot of more, you know, thickness to your sound, your to rises and down rises, and it's actually a nice little addition to this machine here. Now, if you want it to go down instead of going up, you can just click on down right there, <laughs> and it goes down. Pretty interesting, yeah. Now, I really dislike the background equalizers going on, so I normally turn off the LCDs here. So it's basically just an equalizer that shows you the equalizing, but I always use it on. I'd rather monitor it with my, you know, stock. EQ on Cubase. So basically, I've created a little short, <laughs> uh, a little short piece here, that I scratched up earlier, to show you a riser coming up here in the blue. I'm just going to pin the risers and the down riser here as, let's say, hmm, orange, so you know where it is, okay? And um, basically, I find that you have to actually use some automations together with the Woosh machine to actually make it really work. So if I turn on this down riser here, you can see I actually toyed around with the palm, where if you open up an automation here, there you go, you can see that I actually played with some automations to increase the palm and decrease them as I go, all right? Together with volumes and whatnot. All right, so I'm gonna play this uh, little piece before I head off, and here we go. <laughs> So 
So basically, just a very short piece to show you how it works. Now, I know I've only used mainly like, like uh, white noise and not much of the effects right here, but I can go and try them. I'm sure you find a great use of them. Now, they also have an FX effect here, effects here, which I find not really that you know convincing for me to use especially the reverbs here so what i did is i've actually you know added my own reverbs and compressors here to make it sound bigger when it's you know together with a piece here so i think the only problem with whoosh machine is actually trying to get it to sound together with your tracks and enjoy so i'll see you next video if you have any questions please just ask in the comment section and um see you at autometal.com